Meanwhile, France finished top of the group after a 4-2 victory against Sweden. Uh, Frank and Jules are here then uh, to talk about the French. Um, Frank, would I be wrong to say there's a big argument to say Olivier Giroud was man of the match today? He was, if, because he scored two goals, yeah, he can be man of the match. But I, lo I love the, in, uh, the investment that he, uh, that he put into the game, uh, even trying to defend. But we can add Griezmann also, we had a good game. Paul Pogba had a very good game as well. And in fact, all the French team had a good game. And uh, like the game against Portugal, I think all the other teams have to be happy that the Euro European Championship, Championship sorry, is not tomorrow, because I think France will be the winner. They're absolutely fantastic. It changed dramatically from a week ago, but it's, they sent a message. Okay, we don't care about friendly games. Uh, we lost against Finland, but when there is a competition, we are there. They've been absolutely tremendous again today with the maturity, everything, uh, the, the ability of, uh, of changing the game, the pace of the game. Nothing much to say, you know, allez la France. And, and we know what it's like because uh, Frank is obviously part of that generation that won the World Cup bitter when any other French side does well. So to get that sort of compliment, <laughs> Jules, is quite something. <laughs> it's, it's quite something, you're right. I mean, he was clearly biting his tongue to praise this, uh, <laughs> this, this current national team. No, I mean, more, more seriously, this is... This was two very good games, especially the one against Portugal, of course, I would mention a lot, we talked a lot about it on the show, but Deschamps tonight after the game reminded everyone, like he always loves doing, and it's not just to, to give a lot of credit to himself, but also to his team. He said, hey, don't forget, we took 16 out of 18 points in our group, and in our group we had the European champions in Portugal, and the World Cup finalist in Croatia. And no one can do better than 16 points in, those, in, the, in the National League group stage, and he's right. It was not always perfect, but certainly when it mattered, they were good. And as we said on, on Saturday night, when it mattered as well, the senior players, like we saw again tonight, responded well and carried the team. Uh, Jules, I, I mentioned Giroud. I just find it fascinating. We hear again Deschamps saying, look, he may have to leave in January. Yeah, it doesn't matter if he doesn't leave in January. Giroud is Deschamps' number one man, isn't he, Jules? He is certainly, for games like the ones today, uh, as we explained again on Saturday, I think there will be different opposition where maybe Deschamps will feel, you know what, I need Martial as my number nine or I need Mbappé more central instead of Giroud because there'll be more movement, there'll be more spaces, more movement, all of that. But in certain games, Giroud will be his number one. I think the, the important thing on Deschamps saying he has to play more is because if he doesn't play enough at club level, it will take him far longer to, to get fully fit, to match fitness, fitness, before, before Euros, for example. And I don't think Deschamps wants that. I don't think Deschamps wants Giroud to work two weeks every day to be fully fit and match fit. Whereas if he plays regularly with his club, he will mm. arrive for the Euros and be ready there and can go straight in. There will be no time for him to have to, to, have to work on his fitness. And I think that's, that's the key, really. And, and as Deschamps said tonight, again, Deschamps said Giroud was bad against Finland a week ago like the rest of the team but that game was very useful to build up a bit his match fitness and then we saw he came on well against Portugal and he was very good tonight because that first game against Finland was really needed for him to, to build up that match fitness they didn't have because he never plays with Chelsea. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube and for more sports highlights and analysis be sure to download the ESPN app and for premium content and live streaming subscribe to ESPN+.